Our next guest, we're going to start it off with a stat of the day. It's the BYU Sports Nation stat of the day. For Paul Lasique. Nine! <laughs> Paul Lasique scored nine touchdowns this season for BYU. Tied for first among all BYU players with Mitch Matthews. Paul, welcome to the show, man. Oh, well, the thanks, man. man. Thanks for having me. Did you know that? I didn't actually know that. <laughs> I, I know I scored, I think, eight or nine, but I didn't know I didn't know it was tied for for that. For, that. for first. Yeah. It's quite an honor, actually. Do you wish you had one more? I do. Actually, <laughs> uh, everyone wishes they had more, you know, but I'll take it. I'm grateful for, for, the, for the time that I was able to get, so... Right on, my man. Yeah. Wait, so, so wait, nine, how many were passing, how many were rushing? Uh, seven rushing, two receiving. Okay. Nice. nice. Nine touchdowns, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you need to, like, brag it up, man. We want you to be like, yeah, uh, I'm the man. No, nah, I'm not the man, actually, <laughs> but, yeah. I, I run over people, <laughs> bounce off my thighs. No, nah, it was fun, man. It was, a, it was a great season. I loved it. Okay, you come in here. You've, you've got a cast on, mm -hmm. and uh, you recently had uh, some surgeries. Update us on your health and, and what's going on there. Yeah, um, I broke it in the ball game last year, like right at the start of the game. It was I was pass protecting and broke it, uh, bent it backwards, and we thought it was just a sprain, but it was in, it ended up being a, a break. And had surgery about a month and a little a little over a month ago, and and so hopefully getting it off next week, next Wednesday. Okay, so next Wednesday, mm -hmm. in preparation for uh, NFL Pro Day here at BYU, mm -hmm. I believe on March 27th, yeah, is that 27th. right? Yeah, 27th. Yeah, you played in the East-West Shrine game, and uh, we have... Collegiate Bowl. The Collegiate Bowl, that's right. The Collegiate Bowl style game. Mm, that's it was right. A, I think it was a week before the, the East-West. Okay, and then there's the Senior Bowl. Uh, there's a yeah. number of them. Yeah, there was three of them, so... Fact of the matter is, you were invited to one mm -hmm. as, uh, as a prospect. What do you think about your chances uh, after playing in that game of, of getting into the NFL man it was it was actually a, real, a big surprise that I actually got invited to one of those um uh, initially uh you know going through the season I never really thought about pursuing the NFL or giving it a shot you know I just thought I was always on kind of on the boundary of being good enough and not good enough and as a fullback and so um yeah towards the end of the season some opportunities came up yeah I got invited to the game I had I had a few people want to represent me and, and give me a, give me an opportunity, and uh, so yeah, I got invited to that that uh, the senior uh, that game and and it was just a it was an op awesome opportunity kind of exposure. There were scouts and stuff there, and and had a number of interviews with a few of them, and and uh, it was it was physical, it was awesome, and you you knew that you knew that if you'd done well there, um, it was a good sign because everyone there was relatively great at right at football. So um, no, it was an awesome opportunity and. Uh, a lot of it was eye formation, which is a little bit different in the BYU offense, and and uh, yeah, it was just it was great. Paula CK with us in Studio B on BYU Sports Nation. I know Michael has like twenty five questions he wants to ask. <laughs> I, I got you. the ball. He's the man. One of my main man, goals. Bro. One of my main goals. Paul is the most <laughs> humble guy I know. <laughs> My life goal is just to try to get Paul to just talk about himself just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't think it's ever going to be possible, though. But, but my questions are kind of aimed at at, uh, at Paul. So it, there's an Australian guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you know the name. Jared Hain. Yeah. Jared uh -huh. Haney, is that how you yeah, say Jared it? Yeah, Jared Hain. And so just rugby star. He's coming to America. He wants to take a shot at the NFL. Yep. How how easy is the transition <laughs> from rugby to football? Is it is it hard or, or, or were you just a, were you just a prodigy? No, nah, that's a that's an awesome question. Yeah, he, he is the man. I mean – it, it's it's hard, man. Oh, bottom line, it's hard. It's going to be difficult. Um, he he played professional, like at the, at the top level in, in Australia. He's he's an athletic monster, um, but just you know that's that's not enough, at, at, especially at the NFL level. Um, if someone, I, I believe that it's going to be difficult. But if some team can give him time, you know, to learn the game, then I, I think he'll be able to pick it up and contribute on special teams or as a running back, you know, whatever. So I, I believe it's just time, you know, but in the NFL, uh, there's no time, you know, it's kind of a cutthroat situation. So that's kind of my stance on, on his situation. I think he's got athleticism to do it. Um, just someone's got to give him a chance and the time, you know, so kind of like me. It took me yeah. like two years to learn the, to fully learn the game. But but you you've blossomed. <coughs> I mean, you, you this is a sport that you didn't play your whole life. Mm -hmm. Came in, you know, as a as a rookie and, and yeah. just. Completely yeah. blossomed. <laughs> I mean, like it, it, to me, it's it's mind-boggling. It's like me going to you know another country where, where the biggest sport in in their country. You go and play rugby, dude. It's yeah. cricket or, yeah. or rugby, and yeah. I go there and just like just dominate. Nah, yeah, it, it, it's, unheard of. That, that's amazing. 
knowing you, Michael, you'd probably be able to do that anyways. But yeah, <laughs> it's difficult. It's frustrating and Humble. trying to Humble. learn a language and all of that kind of stuff. You know, and, and athleticism is a big part of sports. But I mean, uh, learning the actual nuances of the game is the hard thing. So um, yeah, if someone can give them time and just like I was grateful that Coach Menhall gave me a little bit of time, you know, it didn't, I, I didn't blossom right away. You know, it took me a couple of years to kind of learn the game. And so, um, yeah, it, and it's fun. It's such a fun game. And if you've seen some of his interviews, he's like, it's always been his childhood dream. I mean, so I didn't even know about, we call it gridiron. So I didn't even know about NFL in New Zealand. But I mean, he, kn he, he knows so much about NFL, like it's been his dream. And you know it's not about the money too, because he, he's already you know, rich and famous in Australia. He's on a million dollar contracts over there. So, I mean, it's just pure pride and, and wanting to give it a go, really. So, what is, I give props to him, man. What is your learning curve right now? I mean, you've studied the game for a few years and you mm -hmm. obviously <coughs> understand it at a whole new level and, yeah. and it's worked out for you. But what, what's your learning curve for football right now, Paul? Um, I'm still, I, I still got a little bit to learn. I mean, I, I think I've learned a lot. Um, you saw in the, there was a Cal Berkeley in the Cal Berkeley game. Um, we threw a lateral, and I totally just went into football mode and thought that it was incomplete, but it was actually live, and they ended up picking it up and getting a, uh, getting a, a little bit of a return on it. So there's a, there's a few little things in the game that I'm still learning, but I think it, I've come a huge, uh, a long ways from when I started. Most so. people have forgotten about that play because you won. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, if we I forgot lost, about that it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I mean, glad you, you, you're, you're a baller, though. In, in terms of playing the game, you're a baller, and you got yeah. it going on. In fact, so it, a number of your teammates and colleagues, including former NFL player Brian Keel, have all said they feel like you have the best shot at this year's, you know, BYU NFL hopefuls. Really? Absolutely. I didn't know that either. Why do you think they've pegged you as the guy, Paul? I have no reason. I, I, actually, I might have a little bit of, uh, 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 um, you know, idea. I think I think it's because of my physicality. Uh, the NFL is a huge. It's huge about like kind of putting it like in a cliche term as if as if you have the balls to run it straight, you know. Then then you, at least you'll be able to hang physically. So I think um I don't I don't shy away from contact, and I'm not saying that not at know, all. I just I, the, I the like video, contact. The video and would, I like, would prove that. Yeah, <laughs> I just like physicality, and so that could be a, a, an idea of, of why they think that I have a you know a little bit of a chance to get in. So. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna add great hands, great jukes, great footwork, good yeah. size. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. What do you feel like is your biggest strength as an NFL hopeful, and maybe your biggest weakness? Um, oh, mate, uh, biggest strength. I think uh, Mike brought it, brought out one of them. I think, especially as a fullback, I can catch it out in the flat for the most part. Um, you know, and and not only like. I, I love lead blocking, which is primarily what a fullback does, but I, I also um, am able to run the ball and catch the ball too, so a little bit more versatile than, than the normal fullback. And then uh, one of my biggest weaknesses, um, <coughs> mate, man, probably just like uh, endurance, I'd say, burst. I mean, especially when I'm running the ball. Uh, I'm a lot heavier than what I used to be. I'm like 20 pounds heavier than, really? than what I was when I was playing rugby. So, I mean... Um, I'd say like endurance and burst, yeah. Is that why you got caught at Notre Dame? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> I know. The, the running backs still give me a hard time for that, man. They're like, and it's become a tradition that like, hey, Jamal, you get a breakaway, you, we know you're going to the house. Adam, we know you're going to the house. Algie, we know you. And it's like, Paul, we know that you could probably make it within the 20. You know? So I'm like, oh, man. And it all starts at that game too where it's like you only needed like six more, five more yards or something like that. And I was like, man. So he was fast too, then. Come on, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, hey. <laughs> he was fast, man. Come on. You, you probably had like 50 pounds on the dude. I keep telling all dude. the other guys that they would have got caught too, but they didn't buy it. So <laughs> that's good stuff. Paul Asike with us on BYU Sports Nation, former BYU football player and current BYU rugby player. Are you going to play rugby Mate, at all? Man, I'm not sure. Eh? Like, so, so, so I'm on my last year right now, and so. I'm only t I'm only enrolled in one credit. So first of all, like I'm I'm training right now um for the pro day, and then second of all, I'm, I'm I've only got one credit. So I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to play. And I've talked with the rugby coaches, and they've they've kind of been like, well, we're going to check up with compliance to see if if you're eligible because you're a senior, you know, if you can do that. And so if if anything, it'll probably be the second half of the season, if anything. But 
It's I, I don't even know, man. <laughs> Paul, listen, man. You got a legitimate shot at being a big time running back in the league. Man, yeah. Why risk, why risk injury? I, I, nah, I'm nothing yeah. against the BYU rugby team. They, yeah. They're great. No, no. They, they, figure out, they brought a lot of prestige to this university. <laughs> they're yeah. amazing, and you've yeah. been a great rugby player. But yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. It's, it's that's that's a valid point that you go, man. So I mean, you know me. I just like to just to just to get a few runs in here and there, you know. Even. But um, Is it most, too like, much to ask for him to just I'm, truck I'm, another guy. I'm saying, I'm saying I, 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 this. I'm saying this. If I even do play, which is a very small chance or possibility, then it would most likely be the second half of the season. But I'm saying like that. That if is is very small. I mean, it's most likely not going to happen. If if you if the small <laughs> if that if you do play. Go in for like a few minutes a game. Get, uh, just yeah. go be a winger. Be on the end of the line. Give me the ball. I'll make a few runs. Yeah. Get one try and then, yeah. then sub me out, coach. Yeah. Well, that yeah, most likely that's what it'll probably be. I'll just come in for a, a little bit at the end of the game. But yeah, I'm probably not even gonna play yet. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> when you're a back to back to back national champion, it's hard not to wanna be involved again, right? It is, man. So I mean like so I haven't been going to trainings or anything, and, and I went to one of the practices last week, and and one of the assistant coaches, he was like, hey, he texts me the next day, and he's like, hey, it's good to, it was good to see you again. Hey, I'm just curious, like, are you playing? Like, what's going on? And then I, I he had an idea of what I was doing, and then I finally told him my whole situation. I'm 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 only in one credit. I don't think it can happen, and so that's kind of where the if came from. So I was like, there was no possibility until last week when he was like, hey, like. Would love to come and have you, and that'll be my fifth. That'll be my fifth year, because in football you can play four, but in in rugby you can play five. So, okay. I've already done four years, man. That's what I'm trying to say to them. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just too old for this. Let stuff, the man, man rest. Man. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, let, let the young bucks come up, you know. Let them have their turn, you know. So. Paul, great to have you in the studio, man. Thanks, man. We wish you the best it. of luck uh, at Pro Day here at BYU and yep. as you pursue a 53-man roster in the NFL.